preparing to direct A Journal for Jordan, a bittersweet love story opening on Christmas Day, Denzel Washington says he took a master class. That master class consisted of starring in a movie directed by Joel Cohen, The Tragedy of Macbeth, which opens the same day. I steal from the best, Washington says with a smile. Denzel Washington the actor has some 60 films under his belt, plus two Oscars, and at 66 is universally regarded as one of the all-time greats. Denzel Washington the director has just completed his fourth feature, I don't call myself a director, he said matter-of-factly in an interview last week. I'm still learning placeholder before a journal for Jordan, based on the book by former New York Times editor Dana Candy about her fiancé, who fought and died in Iraq, and the Journal of Life Lessons, he left their baby son, Washington's most recent directorial effort was Fences. The 2016 film version of the August Wilson play starred Washington himself and Viola Davis, who won an Oscar. Washington directed himself in his other two feature outings as well, The Great Debaters in 2007 and Antoine Fisher in 2002 but he says he'd rather stay off-screen when he's at the helm. I prefer not being in the films, he said. Early on, it had to do with me being able to raise the money to get the films made. Then Fences, obviously we had great success on stage, so that translated to film. But I enjoyed being a more behind-the-scenes kind of guy. Aside from his recent collaboration with Cohen, whom he calls one of the greatest directors, Washington says he sought insight from some other directors he admires. I spent a great day with Paul Thomas Anderson a month or so ago to listen to how he works, he said, and Steve McQueen, I've been talking with a little bit. I'm learning how to do it. So I'm interested in learning from the best. So I've been talking to the best. Michael B. Jordan says he, too, is interested in learning from the best, which is why it was so impactful for him to be directed by Washington. The actor gives a charismatic performance as Candy's fiancé, first as GT. Charles Monroe King, who was killed in Iraq in 2006 at age 48. Candy is portrayed by Chant Adams. To be able to work so closely with him was really important, Jordan said in an interview. It was a master class, honestly. As an actor you know, growing up, watching all his movies, watching his performances, and being curious about his process. Like, man, I wonder how the greatest of all time rehearses, or how he breaks down his character, Jordan mused. His perspective of character is so layered. You really realize, oh, this is why your Denzel got it. I've been doing great, but then this is the next level.